What's going on, guys? And welcome to the finale of Super Mario Bros. 3. In the last part, we saved all the kings only for the, the princess to get kidnapped in World 7. Because the interesting thing is that pr the Peach doesn't- the princess doesn't get kidnapped immediately in this game. She more gets kidnapped while you're roaming around these worlds trying to save the kings. It's explained more in the manual, but, um... They kind of- they basically explain it just at World 7, but like, uh... Unless, it's a, it's definitely a plot twist, unless you've already read the manual prior to playing this game. But yeah, this is the last of the worlds, and some people will say it's the hardest of the worlds. Me personally, World 8 can be a pain in the ass, but like under certain circumstances. Like, if you have a lot of lives and items, like, it's not that hard, but like... Say you have like five lives, you warp straight to world eight. It can be a pain. Let's just say that. I've been able to beat world eight both ways, but like, um, let's just say like, I've never like, um, I don't really like to do the line because like, you can warp straight from world one to world eight and beat this game in like 20 minutes. But by doing so, you also miss out on a lot of the items. All right, there we go. This is interesting enough. It's not a, it's not a boom boom. That's the enemy guard. It's a uh, boomerang brother. Which I am not going to die there. I am not going to die that. Okay, good. We get another star. Stars become less and less useful in a uh, world eight, but uh, we need a mushroom. Give us an extra hit. Interestingly enough, this is the stage. This is the stage where you can like go in the go in the kind of muddy water. It's not lava, but because you, you can go in it. But like, uh, you can kind of like go and like skip an, the entire stage because you know, like, uh, you can kind of like. Let's see if I can get it to work because I am small. Let's see if I can get it to work because I am small and like um, you kind of mash the button. So far, I've gotten it to work. You have to do this kind of twice. You have to mash the button, otherwise you're just kind of fall. Because if you go too low, you're dead. I'm kind of mashing the button. I'm hoping you don't have to hear that in the video. I'm just kind of mashing the uh, A button. And I'm kind of, let's see if I can do the rest of the stage the normal way. Except I almost got I almost got cannonball. Cannonball. Uh, what is it? What do you mean? How phrase is that? I'm just gonna hit with the cannon. Is what I meant. When you record for like when you record when you record for like two hours straight, you're in like streams or outside. Eventually, like you can commentate for several hours, but sometimes you just run out of things to say, which is why I generally don't like recording all whole playthroughs in one sitting. But I'm assuming this because it's an NES era game. But yeah, we killed Bum Bum. Now, beyond uh, this pipe right here is uh, an area that kills a lot of speedruns. Because these are these five platforms right here. The hands might drag you, they might not. But one drag pretty much kills an entire speedrun. And the reason why Mario 3 is a risky game to speedrun. And we get dragged down anyway. <laughs> Alright, so uh thankfully I got better hammer brother spawning. Alright, there we go. There we go. We got power up. I don't like to be thrown into hammer brother areas as small Mario though. No, no. Can we get some damn pipe? Okay, good. I'm just gonna use. Do we have any more mushroom? Okay, I'm just gonna preserve all the items we have, though. Uh, we don't get thrown in. Uh, we don't get swung in this one. But 100%. If you're in like 100% speed runs, you have to do this. Speed runs have to do like all three stages of these. 
but like any percent runs, like they pretty much get killed at this state at these areas. I'd say the category based on doing videos seems like the most pain in the ass to, to run is uh, the any percent category, not the any percent category, the any percent warpless. And we died. Probably should use an item before coming in here. Because we're not going to get any more stars. We're not going to get any more three stars. Three star -ers. All right, thank God the power up didn't go left. I don't know why cheap cheaps are coming out of the lava. Is there a special breed of cheap cheap? I don't know why I'm overthinking this. Now, I'm kind of lazy with like this next stage. Even if it's a, if it's your first time, just use a P-Wing. It makes it a hell of a lot easier. Cause like, you can just mash the A button. Cause like, this is an auto scroll. It's a fast auto scroller. I've heard this called one of the hardest stages in, Mar in all of Mario. Me personally, I disagree. I say there's other harder stages across different games. Especially the newer games, like, with, like, ever since Galaxy 2, they've had to, like, jack up a really hard level at, like, the end of a 100% run. Here we go. Come on. Come on. There we go. And uh, once you get past this level, the worst of World 8 is behind you. Because there's only one more airship and there's two normal stages and a fortress. And, he, and, and special advice with 8-1. Go in there with the leaf. It might take a while to gain, gain P speed, but uh, once you gain P speed, uh, just fly up and uh, get this pipe right here. It might be part of the background, but it's um, three one ups. We're gonna go back to th we're gonna go back to ninety nine lives. No, 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 no. Kill the Koopa. And we're dead. So, uh, I guess we're gonna use one of these. Use one of these three. I want to save him for the final castle, though. That's the, that's the other thing about the stage, even if you're trying to do it the cheap way, like, uh, it can still take a while to build up P speed. Because of the little room they give you. Alright, here we go. We're going to not get hit and lose the bullet bell. Come on. And we're out of there. And uh eight two is a uh, is kind of your final chance to basically get nine nine lives if like uh you're trying to get like um you if you're basically trying to get the uh if you're basically trying to get the or to say the uh three stars. Yeah, we basically, uh, we can just fly right here and you should be able to get out of the level. But not quite. Yeah, this time you should be able to get out of the level if we, uh, fly right here.
We get a, we get a mushroom as our final thing. Final card is a mushroom. Anyway, so um, and this is the uh, world eight. This is the world eight um fortress, and it's a maze. Let's just say that I know the way through, but like uh. Sometimes you should use my videos as like actual walkthroughs. And I and I lose the flower immediately. <laughs> so uh let's just uh go in here. No. No. Okay, good. Okay, that's not the door to go in. I apologize for using this is the door to go in. And then you, uh... Make sure you do that in time, and, uh... If you can get that coin just in time, you can kind of just go straight to this door right here. And we have two more stages after this. You're fighting Boom Boom on a conveyor belt. I think this is the only time in the game you fight Boom Boom on a conveyor belt. I can't, I don't think there's any, there isn't any other time. We've done all the stages. Anyway, so uh, this is the final air tank. This is the final. Air, this is the final. This is the final tank ship. Not the last. Once you get past the last airship, I'd say the worst of World Eight is behind you. So basically, there's, um, it's enough, this is, the last the auto scrolling stages is uh, thankfully the, uh, there's no more. And at least with Bowser's Castle, we can screw up 99 times, 100 times technically, because there's zero lives. So I sh maybe I shouldn't even say 99 lives, but there's 99 on the counter, but you know what I mean. So future 2D Mario games, like, there was no zero on the life counter, I think it was only more of three. Well, hey, maybe we'll see what happens in Sumerba's Wonder. Anyway, so we're going to try something that's high risk, high reward. I was saving the hammer and really suit for this moment, but like, if we make it to Bowser, we can flat out insta-kill him, so let's try it. And we lose it to the first statue. Wow. I was hoping we could insta-kill Bowser. We just lose it to the first fucking statue. But yeah, they're, they're these Bowser statues that shoot lasers at you. I kind of want to... Now, this is the classic trick where you kind of clip through that. There's a trick I think everybody knows. And, uh... I'm just gonna use this to go down so I can get the power up for an extra hit on Bowser. The stage, I would say, for World 8 standards, is not too hard. There are two ways to get the Bowser, actually. Top and the bottom. The bottom path is a different way. There's a Bowser statue. The, the first one shoots lasers at you, the next one doesn't. I almost got hit by that. I don't have three hits, but thank God I got the power up. Now, this is Bowser. Now, Bowser isn't too hard. He just, uh, my tip is stay underneath this platform right here. Stay kind of towards the door. Except maybe he'll throw a fireball. He might not. And when, and when he jumps, you move out of the way and, uh, And uh, yeah, either next next hit basically gets it. 
And that's Mario 3. Now, you can actually jump in the pit and chase after him, but it's a death, and you have to do the stage over again. I'm just not going to do that, because, like, we've already beaten the game, and, like... Because, like, uh... We gotta do it now. We're not gonna... We're, I'm not an idiot. Anyway, that's Mario 3. Now, this ending... you, but our princess is in another castle. Just kidding. Ha, 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 bye-bye. I always thought that ending was kind of lame. I mean, it does have credits, but so does Mario 2. Mario 2's ending isn't perfect either, but to be fair, a lot of NES endings are kind of lame, but, uh, World 1, Grassland. Now, uh, this would be grass. This would be grassland in the Japanese version. It's the only thing that's the same. Desert land. This is desert hill in the Japanese version. World three waterland. That's ocean side in the Japanese version. I like the Japanese names more, by the way. This is giant land. This is big island in the Japanese version. And the Super Mario All Stars version uses the Japanese names. Skyland, this is the sky in the Japanese version. I like the sky more than Skyland. This is Iceland, it's ice with a D in the Japanese version. Like it's kind of the same. This is Pipeland, this is Pipe Maze in the Japanese version. I guess that's where Mario Party 1 gets the minigame from. And this is Darkland, this is Castle of Koopa in the Japanese version, which is obviously an name I like more. Anyway, so that has been Mario 3. There's one last thing I want to show. Because once you've beaten the game, you can go to the title screen, start a new game, and uh, you get an inventory full of P-Wings. Yeah. So uh, I'll see you guys next time. Later, folks. Bye.